In today's video we're going to be finishing off our work on tables in HTML and CSS by creating ourselves a photo gallery. Sure, it's not the best looking photo gallery you have seen on the web these days, but it does consolidate our knowledge that we have learnt using tables. Okay, basically all we've got is some thumbnail images through here, and you can click on these thumbnails, and they will load up a bigger version of the picture in a new tab. Okay, so you get the idea. It's all set out nice and neatly inside a table. So let's get started by going over to our accounts into our year 10 IPR folder and making ourselves a lesson 9 photo gallery folder. Inside that lesson 9 fo folder we're going to make another folder called images. Inside that images you need to make sure you've copied and pasted in all eight images required for this task. Okay, so pretty easy. Lesson 9 folder, inside that make one called images and inside images copy and paste these images. Once you have done that, you're ready to get started in brackets, so load it up now. Go to File and New to start yourself a new document. And before you begin typing anything, remember to save it. Now to save today, you will need to go back to your U10 folder, go into Lesson 9 Photo Gallery. And don't go into Images, stay outside that folder. And we're going to just call it Gallery.html. Don't forget the .html, otherwise it won't work as a website. Okay, so that's saved. We're ready to get started now. Let's get straight to it with the usual doc type tag up the top, first of all. And then we'll begin by opening up our HTML tags. Once you've opened up our HTML tags, create your head section and add in a title set of tags. We'll just call it Photo Gallery for our title today. We will add some style tags to this top section a bit later on, but we're not going to worry about doing that right now. We're just going to go below the head tags and add in our body section. So in our body today, we've got a table, and that's it. Okay, so let's put in a table tag. And inside that table, we've got our first table row. So put in your table row tags, so TRs. Inside the first TR tag or table row, we're going to have our headings, so put in a TH tag. So this is the first row of our table now. And in that first row of the table, basically going to write photo gallery. Okay, pretty simple. Let's add another row to our table. So go outside those tags you just created before and add a new table row tag. So here's our new table row being formed here. In the next one down, just add a TD. So we're not in the table header section anymore, so we don't need to add THs or table headers. We're going to add table data now. Inside the TD tags, I'm basically going to say click on the thumbnails below. to make the image larger. Okay, so just some instructions on how our photo gallery works. At this point I'm going to just press Control S and save it. I'm going to go back into my account here and open up my gallery.html file and have a look at how it's going. It should be pretty ugly at the moment with just two lines of text. There we go, that's how it's looking. Okay, you can see that because it's a TH tag or table header, they've automatically centered that and made it bold. And this one's just left aligned. It's our normal font, our table data row. Let's get going. Okay, in the next row of the table, we're going to start putting in the pictures. So make our TR for a third row of our table. What we're going to do first of all, put in our TD tag, and then we're going to put in an image. So image source equals and we'll go into our images folder and we'll start with image number one and close our image tag off alrighty so let's just save that and see how it's looking so control s to save refresh the page we've got this gigantic image up on our page it's alright we're going to resize it a bit later on basically I'm just going to copy this piece of code you can type it in again if you want but I'm going to copy and paste it three more times so we end up with four columns in our table. So each time we add a TD inside a table row section, we get a new column. 
And all I'm going to change is the name of these pictures. I know my pictures are named 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have to put them in, in that order. So I've got four different images here, each with a different name. I'll save it, preview it. Okay, there we go. So we've got our four images in our table. Yeah, they're too big, but we're going to resize them shortly. What we're going to do now is just add one more row to this table. So let's just go below where we added those four images. We'll add our last TR tag in, which is our final table row. It's basically the same as above. We're going to add in the TD tags. Oops. And copy and paste what we had before. Sorry, I just stuffed it up a little bit, but there we go. We're going to copy and paste that four times. Just change the numbers to five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we've got the same image source tag going all the way in here. If we just change the name of the picture. So let's save that again by pressing Control S. We'll have a look at our web page. Alright, so we've got the second row in of pictures now. You can see they're all the same size, and I purposely did that when I made this website. I purposely saved the pictures all at the same size, so they all fit neatly anyway. Okay, it's pretty rare to get pictures all the same size unless you do it yourself. Okay, so that's looking good. So let's make these pictures a different size and we'll get them to fit nice and neatly inside this table. And we're going to do that back up the top here in our head section where we add our CSS in or our style tags. So let's add some style to the page by adding our style tags in. And we want to edit the images here. So let's write the word IMG. Open up a curly brace. Oops. Okay, my bad. There we go, so I've got that curly brace open. Basically the width we want for our pictures about 100 pixels because we're going to make a pretty small thumbnail here. So I think something like width 100 pixels and height to be 90 pixels should look pretty good. So close your curly brace off. That's our tag there to resize our images. Okay, that, that will resize every image. Every time there's an IMG tag or an image tag, it's going to resize whatever picture's in there. Press Control S to save it. Pop back over to the internet and refresh the page. And we can see that our thumbnail's a much better size. Our table layout's a bit iffy at the moment, so we are going to fix that shortly. Okay, but we're going to have a look at this text first of all. Okay, first of all, well, the first line in our table is this photo gallery here, so the TH tag. Let's style that up using a bit of CSS. So up the top, just need to nudge this across one more, there we go. I'm going to add a TH tag up there. Using my curly brace inside the TH there, I'm going to change the font size. Start with 2EM. I'm also going to change the background color of that first row, so background color. And it's really up to you what you use. I know that I want to use this light pinky purpley color, so 49 DDFF is the code for that one. Close my curly brace off, and you can see here now I've got my TH tag section in. That styles up just the row that has the TH tags, which says photo gallery down here. Okay, it won't affect anything else. So if I save it, refresh it, I've got that nice pinky purpley coloured background and a larger header, which is good. The issue we've got is this only spans across one column. I want it to go all the way across all four columns. So basically merge all these cells I can't see together. And that pink strip should go all the way across my table. So the way I'm going to do that is go back to my code and in the TH tags down here where it says photo gallery, I need to go inside the TH tag, simply write col span equals 4. And that's now going to span that row or merge the cells together. And it's going to go across four columns. Save it and preview it. And now spans across four columns. That's what the col span P 
piece of code does. It basically merges cells together. I need to do the same here for this subheading that says click on the thumbnails below to make the image larger. So let's do the same thing. TD Colspan equals 4. Don't forget the quotation marks around that. What that's going to do is just make sure that text or that row spans across four columns. I'll save it. I'll preview it. It sure does. Okay, and that's made our table layout look a lot nicer now as well. Okay, let's do a bit more styling on this page. Okay, it still doesn't look too flash. Back up in our style tags at the top. I'm going to add in the body style tag. Should have done this first, but we'll do it now. In the body, we'll just, we'll just do the usual. So the font family, sans serif, font size, we'll do 1 em to start with. We can always change that later if need be. Um, what else can we change? We'll change text align. We'll make it centered. That way all the text that we put in will be centered on the page. Uh, let's just save that and have a look. And we'll, whoops, I need to close my curly brace first. Then we'll press Control S to save it. We'll just see how that's looking. Okay, we've got sans serif font. This text is centered, even though it's hard to tell at the moment. And we've got our size set to 1 em. So the default size, basically, for whatever screen you're looking at our website on. One thing I might also do to the body is change the background color. So I'm going to get background color. I'm going to choose something called slate blue. That's my body section all done. If I save it and preview it, you'll get an idea of how it's looking so far. Okay, not too bad. Still a bit of work to go though. So let's go down now beneath the body style tag and we'll add another one in. We'll add table. I always like to have white backgrounds. Well, almost all the time I have white backgrounds. So I'm going to add in my white background on the table there. The other thing I'm going to do to this table is just make it a bit wider. It's pretty small at the moment. So let's make it fill up a bit more of the page. So width. Let's choose about 60% of our page width and see how that looks. There are all the tags I'm going to add in to style up the table. Just the background colour will be white and the width of the table will be 60%. Control S to save. Refresh the page. And now we've got a nice looking photo gallery that is filling up a bit more of the page. That white background also contrasts well with this purple colour in the background. Okay, let's keep going. Got a little bit more that we can add. So we need the table. What we might do next? Um, actually, let's just go back and have a look for a sec here. Yeah, I think there might need to be a little bit more space between each picture and between this text here. So when we refer to space in a table, it's actually called padding. So what we're going to do? We'll go to the TD tag next, and we'll put some padding in. We'll make it fairly big at 25 pixels. Oops. Close your curly brace off and just give that a test run and we'll see how that looks. There we go, that's looking a lot nicer. Now we've got that 25 pixel space between each row in our table. So we've got 25 pixels here and 25 pixels here. Really spacing our page out, it's looking good. Um, what we might do as well, the TH section. Oops, we've already done TH. I just think it needs a bit of padding as well. I don't think there's enough padding around it, so I'm going to go back up to my TH section here. Let's put some padding in. Padding, I'll say 20 pixels. And save it. I'll have a look at that. When we refresh it, just a little bit of space around the top of the photo gallery header there. Okay. Let's push this table into the center now. And the way we do that, we have to go down the bottom here where it says table. Okay, and I think we can just write align equals center. We'll save that and give it a test run. Sure does. Okay, so that's our table looking pretty good. The only thing that we haven't got working as far as I can see is these thumbnails. We can't click on them yet and make them appear in a new tab. 
So basically we need to make a hyperlink here that links the small picture into the larger picture. So it's easy to do. Let's start in our table row here. We've got the first image just here, so this is image 1. We're going to click just between the TD and the image tags. We're going to add in a hyperlink first. So let's write ahref equals and let brackets do the work for you. Link it up to image 1. Now you'll get this little closing bracket for your links, a little A tag. Cut that out by pressing Control X. Just go after your image here and paste it in. So that there basically says let's make a hyperlink to image 1. Over here the thing that's going to be linked is the small thumbnail image and that closes our link off. Let's save that for a minute and give it a test run. I refresh the page. Now when I hover over this image you'll see a hand appear. I'll click it and my page turns into this large picture. Okay, What I want to do is, though is get this to open up in a new tab. So to do that just go back to where it says ahref, so our link tag. After where you type the image in put a space and just write target equals underscore blank. That little bit there will make sure that your link opens up in a new tab. And basically it's a copy and paste job now, so we're going to copy that piece of code, pressing Control C, between the TD tag and the image tag on the next line, we'll paste that in, and we'll do that again for the other two. Actually, you might as well do the other four down the bottom while we're at it. Now, once that's all, then we just need to change where the link goes. So, obviously, on the second row, we want to link it to the second image. Third row, we'll link to the third image. Fourth row to the fourth image. Okay, and we'll do the same down the bottom. So, images will be linked to five. 6, 7, 8. Okay. The other thing we need to put in is the closing link tag just here. So highlight that, copy it, and just before the TD tags finish on each row, close off your hyperlink. Okay, so look at that carefully, make sure you've got the same as me. We've got a new row in the table, we create a hyperlink to image 1, and when we click it, it's going to open up in a new blank tab. This basically displays a little thumbnail image, and it is going to be the hyperlink. And that closes off the hyperlink. That finishes off that cell in the table. Okay, so let's save it. Control S. We'll get a test run, and we'll see how that's looking. It should be working. Okay, it's not going to change the look of it at all, but when you do click on these pictures, they do pop up in a new tab. You've got a working photo gallery now. Just one thing I might change, I just noticed this text here is not in italics yet. Let's put that click on the thumbnails text into italics. And we do that just here. Okay, just get before the word and write EM in brackets. After the words, cut out that e closing EM tag and put it at the end. Okay, so you can see the two EM tags there. EM just gives your text some emotion, basically puts it in italics. Have one more look at that. It's in italics now. Header looks great. All the pictures and thumbnails are working. I can't think of anything else that we need to do, so save it up and you finish your photo gallery.